Today is Tuesday, November 27th, and I've got another video for you today. Um, I've been trying to make a video a day, if you've been following the channel, but I haven't made one in a few days. I've been a little under the weather, so I apologize. Uh, i still got a lot to get to. I've picked up one of the six-lane uh, tracks from uh, Target on Saturday, so I still need to kind of unbox that, review that, that kind of thing. Um, but... Uh, and got this in the mail the other day. So we'll move on to this and uh, probably be the only video this evening. Hope to make another one tomorrow. Again, I still don't feel 100%. So um, see here, this is an old Ertl set. This is from 82. Uh, and a lot of you may not even recognize this uh, from the movie Six Pack with uh, good old Kenny Rogers. <laughs> um, I liked the movie as a kid. I think it came out in 82, 81. I was probably about five, six years old when it came out. Um, but I do remember it, and uh, actually I hadn't watched it for years, and uh, recently bought a DVD of it on eBay. Uh, it wasn't quite as good as I remembered it being, but, uh, you know, that's how everything is. So again, this is uh, 1982, 20th Century Fox. Um, I think, what did I pay for this? Uh, I think it was around $42. Uh, kind of high, but honestly a little less than I thought I was going to pay. Um, so this gives you the whole... A uh, little background here, uh, Brewster Break, yeah, Brewster Baker, that was the uh, what is his, his name in the in the movie there. So, and that was one of the cars, and that was the other car. So, we will go ahead and crack this open, believe it or not, because I like to crack open most of the cars. Probably not the best idea since it is older. It could be worth something someday, but I don't think it's ever going to top the forty-two dollars I paid for it. And uh, I wouldn't care if it had, because I don't plan on not selling them. Here they are here. You've got, uh, what is this? This is a, this is just a Thunderbird. So early 80s Thunderbird, a Camaro, and then you've got a Caprice here. That's uh, they call Big John's police car. That was the cop in the movie. And I don't think his car was blue, but I could be wrong. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and kind of wanted to keep it a little... Nice. Mm, how do I want to open this? Yeah, we'll just—I guess we'll just peel up an end. What the heck? There we go. I could get some acetone, probably make it look like it's never been opened. There's one, two, and three. I'm sure a lot of you collectors are probably cringing. Maybe not at this particular set, but that I would open a set close to my age, but. So it is. Uh, again, these are Ertl. We'll go over. Uh, well, here. Here we go. Hopefully, I've got enough lighting. I've been having some lighting issues as well. Need to get some more. But here's the police car. Again, it may show up white, but it's it's actually a blue. Looks like the same car they've used for some of the Dukes of Hazard sets. So obviously, it's plastic uh, chassis, plastic tire. And uh, it is a metal body. It's got the little six-pack logo there, little siren, pretty basic. And you've got his, well, his first race car in the movie. This is Camaro. And uh, although it has no roll bar or anything on the interior, you can see it's only got one seat. So they tried to make it look like a race car in there. Don't even have a steering wheel. How about that? Obviously, it's not going to be as detailed as some of today's cars, but tell you what, they don't paint them like they used to. And that pretty much, you know, it looks pretty good. Oh, we got some uh, little chippage there. That's probably from the packing. That's one reason why I do like to take them out of the package also. A lot of times they'll get uh, they'll get some damage from the package itself from being in there so long. So this one has no fading or anything like that on there. And this is the car he had later in the movie uh, when he became more successful. That's again, they've only got one seat, no roll bar or anything like that, but just one seat and it looks like it's pretty much just right on the base again this one's plastic base plastic tire obviously and it looks you know pretty pretty close to his car in the movie so we'll go ahead and put these on the little uh round table we'll go for the least favorite to the favorite so there's big john's police car not a lot to look at but it's just one of those ones i wanted to have that all in the shot there. 
Looks like the roof's a little bent. And I think that's just the that's just a manufacturing defect, probably. Then we'll go to his other car, the Thunderbird. And the old paint just looks so much better, in my opinion. The car's not a lot to them. I mean, even though these, these are plastic base and plastic tire, I mean, they're pretty heavy compared to some of today's cars. And it looks like this guy bought this at a flea market or something for $4, well, maybe not him, a Racerama Hobby Center, I'm sorry, $4.97. And it was probably originally cheaper than that. There's that one. And here's the favorite, the Camaro. And aside from one other video, that should do it for my movie car style. Uh, die cast and move on to bigger and better things. Now this, I mainly bought it for this car. I saw an open box of these ones, one of these cars going for, uh, I think it sold, I think one sold for 27, the other was like 38 and it never sold. So um, getting all three for 42, uh, I don't know if, I don't remember if that was shipped, um, but $42 was, you know, it's a lot, but uh, I've paid more than that for one car, so. Now, although the paint looks great, you can see the die cast is pretty, uh, some of the, it's pretty rough, like in the back. Not particularly on this side, but the other side. And that could be some paint, but it looks more to me, like right there, back corner, right over there, looks to me like it's just a casting. Got a little number on the top, 49, all that jazz. And. Here's the sticker. Again, I don't know if this was the original sticker, but it was originally at this Racerama shop for $6.25, and they got it for $4.97. What a part. And I'll keep the box for this. It looks like you had a membership application here, boy or girl. And uh, looks like it was $6 for three years, $3 for a year for uh, inside the U.S., Got Ertl's address there. Don't know if that's still the case. Six weeks for delivery, which probably took more like a year. Who knows? And again with the address. So what they used to do, made in Hong Kong, what they used to do was display their address everywhere for everybody to see. Now it's uh, all just websites. So times have changed. Part number if you need that. And uh, that's really it. No other markings on the box to, to say. So, again, if you have any questions or comments, if you remember this movie, um, I was really, really young, but I remember it pretty well because it was a movie that uh, had something to do with car racing, so that meant I loved it, no matter how stupid it was. <laughs> so anyway, questions or comments, post those below. Please subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.